Hello dear friends, the examination is very fast approaching. I would give you a strategy, try this strategy. I hope that this strategy will be definitely effective for you. How many hours we have when we wake up? 24 hours per day. I just wanted you to use 50 percentage of that 24 hours for a very power packed prelims preparation. That is 12 hours of your time you have to take out and use it very judiciously for your prelims preparation. This 12 hours will have to be divided into 4 parts. Part 1, 4 hours. Part 2, 4 hours. Part 3, 2 hours. And part 4, 2 hours. Now coming to the first part. The first part, 4 hours, you have to use for a GS subject, say Indian polity. The second part, 4 hours, you have to use for, say, another GS subject called modern history. The third part you use for current affairs and the fourth part you use for CSAT. Now I am coming back to the first part. I said the first part consists of four hours. Say polity the subject which you have taken up. Study one and a half hours polity. Right? Then after that stop reading. Try solving the questions from those topics which you have covered in the first one and a half hours. So two hours over. Now you take a break for 15 minutes. Take the polity, start from where you stopped, read for another one and a half hours, then followed by half an hour of solving questions from those topics which you have studied earlier. So, four hours you have done polity. Why I am telling you to break this four hours into first one and a half hours, then questions, then one and a half hours, then question is the reason is this. When you read a particular subject, howsoever it may be interesting, but definitely after some point of time we feel exhausted and we feel that we are getting stagnated to make you feel fresh to make you feel the variety in the preparation to reduce the element of boredom i have divided the first four hours into these subparts now come to the second four hours part two in the part two you are taking another gs subject say i said modern history in the same fashion what I have told in the first part, do it for the second part which means first one and a half hours you do modern history topic followed by question solving for half an hour then take a break for 15 minutes then start reading from where you stopped for another one and a half hours followed by the questions you are solving from those areas which you have covered earlier. So second four hours over then take a break for half an hour then take up the third part. Uh, what I told third part is current affairs. Ideally speaking one year of current affairs preparation is needed for your prelims examination. So I would say that from May 2018 to May 2019 you should prepare for current affairs. If you read for two hours daily current affairs I would say that in four days you can cover one month which means that you pick out May 2018 current affairs and read current affairs every day two hours you will be able to cover May 2018 in four days. So two hours of current affairs go by month wise. Each month can be done in four days. Each day two hours for current affairs. Then the fourth part is two hours for CSAT. Friends, don't go to the examination without practicing CSAT questions because I tell you we think that we can solve these questions when you see the previous year questions. All the questions are relatively simple for many of you. But when you go to the examination condition, there the situation is totally different. The examination condition is not same as the condition which you are having when you are studying in your own place, which gives you so much of comfort. That is a new environment, an alien environment. So with so much of practice, if you go to the alien environment, you will be able to do well. So try practicing seat set questions for daily two hours. You can also spend some 15 minutes extra for reading some topics which are miscellaneous topics like culture related topics. Right? So 15 minutes which means that a topic can be just glanced in 5 minutes. So 3 topics if you can do in culture related topics definitely I would say that that is okay. When you get some questions in the culture you will be able to solve these questions. My dear friends all those great achievers they achieved not in ideal conditions they achieved only in the adverse conditions you know that when there is an adverse condition some people will break the records and some people will break themselves i strongly believe that 
you are not breaking yourself because you are born to be a record breaker you have so much of potential within you unleash the potential in the next 60 days believe in yourself if you have a very strong belief in your ability then definitely this examination will be a cakewalk for you all the very best for your examination thank you